Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and in this video we will be talking about Google Merchant Center misrepresentation and what you need to do before if this case scenario is in your account. So when you click on fix issue or you click on the red banner, you will go to the misrepresentation area where it explains what the policies that you are violating. You will maybe also see that at the bottom, you can see here in this case, that verify your identity before you request a review. Now, based on the accounts that I have access to, it seems to be related to when the merchant is located in one uh, country when targeting another. Um, so it started around March 2024, where some people have been explaining that they have to verify identity or actually the payment profile uh, before they can request a review. And uh, this is this back then I didn't uh, see it in the accounts, but now I can see start seeing it in the accounts that I have access to. So what is important to note is that when you verify your identity, is that you ensure that you choose the correct options. So for example, uh, if you already have a payment profile, it will load up here, but for example, in this case, you can create a new profile. So what is important here is that you select everything as accurately as possible. Don't try to mislead Google or don't give it information that is not 100% correct. So uh, ensure in this case, for example, that you're, you're choosing organization or individual and that the country where the organization is located in both scenarios uh, is the same country. Uh, then when you continue to the next step, then of course you have to upload your either your business details for the organization. So this means also the documents officially given by the government or when you're choosing an uh, individual, you need to then choose uh, your passport IDs, uh, etc. And when you click on the information provided, it actually uh, is related to all the services within Google. So all payment profiles, including for, for example, for YouTube. Um, so this is um, a global information that you need to supply to basically protect uh, the payment details. Uh, if, for example, you have used invalid details. But in this case, for Google Merchant Center, it seems to be related to when Google cannot verify or does not have enough trust signals that can verify that you are a genuine person from the detail, from the location that you have provided, which I see quite often within Google Merchant Center. So that is one thing that you need to pay attention to. Make sure that you verify your identity and do not just request a review uh, just to appeal. Make sure that you have done a great amount of effort in applying all the changes that you need to do. So the only way to really um, resolve a misrepresentation is check the whole website and the whole account and also the whole data feed for any potential issues make the changes and then request a review. So go the extra mile because that will give you a higher percent of success rate rather than, for example, making one small change and then requesting a review because every time that you request a review it and you are rejected, it will prolong the next time you can request a review. So it changes from seven days to 14, 21, and then in some cases, a very long time that you cannot request a review. Um, so. I do offer a service as well that allows you to uh, see what I find on your website account and data feed, what all the possible issues are, and then you can resolve that uh, as well. So um, that is one of the features that I offer. And um, this uh, issue is quite interesting that uh, you now need to verify your identity before you can request a review. So that's a quite significant effort in trying to protect users' payment profiles, but also to ensure that you are the person who you claim to be. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.